In this class, we shall see some simple problems on waves. Here is our first problem. The equation of a progressive wave is given by y equal to 5 sin 2 pi t by 0 0.004 minus x by 136 centimeter. Determine the number a, amplitude of the wave, number b, wavelength, number c, frequency, d, velocity of the wave, and e, maximum particle velocity. So let us solve it. We know that the equation of a progressive wave is given by which is y equal to a sin omega t minus kx where we already know Omega is the angular frequency, T is the time, K is the wave number, X is the position, Y is the displacement and A is the amplitude. So we can also write it as equal to A sine. Now Omega is 2 pi by capital T. And k is, k is 2 pi by lambda. So this is the equation. And again we can write it as y equal to a sine. And we can take 2 pi outside. 2 pi t by t minus x by lambda. So this is suppose equation 1 and we have been given the equation y equal to 5 sine two pi t by 0 0.004 minus x by 136 centimeter. Let this be equation 2. Now comparing these two equations, we have number A, amplitude A equal to 5 centimeter from here you can see a and this 5 next wavelength lambda from here you can see this lambda and this one that is equal to 136 centimeter next we have to find out the frequency so frequency n and this is equal to 1 by t so from here 1 by t is we'll get it from here so t from here you can see is 0 0.004 therefore 1 by t is equal to 1 by 0, 0, 0 0.004 seconds here it will be in units of seconds and this is equal to 2 50 hertz so we have found out amplitude wavelength frequency now number d that is the velocity of the wave now for velocity of the wave 
What is the velocity of the wave? Velocity of the wave is given by, let us rub it out, d. v equal to n into lambda that is frequency into the wavelength so we have the velocity as equal to 250 into 136 uh, centimeter per second and it will come out to be uh, 3, 4, 0, 0, 0 centimeter per second and we can convert it to meter per second and this will be equal to 340 meter per second. And the lastly, we have this uh, maximum particle velocity. Now y is given as 5 sin 2 pi t by 0 0.004 minus x by 136 centimeter. Now dy by dt is the particle velocity and let it be denoted by u and this is equal to 5 2 pi by 0 0.004 cos two pi t by zero point zero zero four minus x by one thirty six. Now for maximum particle velocity, this should be equal to one. Then for maximum particle velocity, u max is equal to 10 pi by 0 0.004 centimeter per second and this is equal to 10 into 250 pi centimeter per second or this is equal to 25 pi meter per second and the value will be 78.57 meter per second. So we have found out the amplitude, wavelength, frequency, velocity of the wave and the maximum particle velocity. Now let us go to the next problem. It's asking Next question, if the wavelength be 4 meter, what is the phase difference between two points which are at a separation of 2 meter? We know that if separation is lambda, that is the wavelength, then phase difference is equal to 2 pi and if separation is 
of unit separation that is 1 then phase difference will be equal to 2 pi by lambda and if separation is was x then phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda x. So, here we have been given wavelength lambda equal to 4 meter and the separation x is 2 meter. Therefore, the phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda x that is 2 pi by 4 meter into 2 meter and this is equal to uh, pi radian. So this is how we find out the phase difference between two points which are having some separation x. Now we shall go to the next problem. Now the question is, in a gaseous medium, the frequency of a sound wave is 512 hertz, amplitude 1.2 centimeter and velocity 320 meter per second. If the density of the medium be 1.426 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram per centimeter cube, calculate A, the energy density and B, the intensity of the wave. First, we will find the energy density that is A part of the question. And this is given by 2 pi square A square N square rho, where A is the amplitude of the wave, N is the frequency of the wave and rho is the density of the medium. So this is equal to and uh, the units will be in the units of uh, energy by volume. Now this is equal to 2 into pi square into amplitude is given that is 1.2 centimeter square into n that is the frequency which is also given 512 hertz into rho this is 1.426 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram per centimeter cube. So, if we calculate, this will be, uh, let us write, uh, 2 into this is equal to 1, 0, 6, Three, four, point one arcs per 
centimeter cube and uh, if we convert to joule we will have 1063.4 joule per meter cube so this is the energy density and uh, the second part of this uh, question is the intensity of the wind so intensity is given by energy density into the velocity of the wave so we have been given we have found out the energy density this is equal to 1063.4 joule per meter cube into velocity is given this is equal to 320 meter per second and we find it This is equal to 3.4 into 10 to the power 5 watt per meter square. You will find this unit as watt per meter square. So this is the intensity of the wave. Now we shall go to the next and the final question of this session. question says a progressive wave of amplitude 0 0.05 meter and frequency 330 Hz has a velocity of 330 meter per second. Find the equation of the progressive wave. So in this case we have to find the equation of the progressive wave. So we know the equation of progressive wave as y equal to a sin omega t minus kx and we can write it as a sin 2 pi by t this t is the time period t minus 2 pi by lambda x and this is equal to a sin 2 pi t by t minus x by lambda this is our equation where a is the amplitude and uh, we have already discussed the rest of the terms now here the amplitude is given that is 0 0.05 meter and frequency is 330 hertz so frequency n is equal to 330 hertz and frequency we know is 1 by t. So here in place of 1 by t we will write 330 and also the velocity of the wave is given velocity of the wave v is equal to frequency into the wavelength. So here frequency is uh, uh, given and velocity is also given. So we have to find out this wavelength. So lambda will be given by V by N and velocity is uh, 330 meter per second.
and frequency is 330 hertz or this is 1 by seconds so we are left with 1 meter so we have a we have uh, 1 by t that is 330 and we have also found out this lambda equal to 1 meter therefore the equation of the wave will be This is equal to y equal to a and you know a is already given 0 0.05 sine 2 pi and 330 t 1 by t is 330 so 330t minus x into lambda lambda is 1 so this is x and units will be in meter so this is the equation of this progressive wave where the amplitude is 0 0.05 velocity 330 meter per second and frequency 330 hertz so this is all for today.